Hello and thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to this episode of All Things Considered, a Paseco News podcast. I am your host, Yemi Balogu. On today's episode, we will be talking about our dear country, Nigeria, and the power in our unity. You would agree with me that many have been ridiculed in recent times for describing Nigeria in relative decline. Today, however, Nigeria has arrived at a potential turning point toward absolute decline. As always, there is a place for optimism and hope. They are, after all, hallmarks of the Nigerian spirit. But there is an even more urgent case for realism if we Nigerians are to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. To do so, we must not sugarcoat what is happening in our country today. Instead, we should face up to it and the responsibilities we bear, whether we are from the PDP, APC, APCA or independents, for our present predicament. As Nigerians, we must understand that diversity is our strength, unity is our power. Our will to live is dependent on knowing that, however, had yesterday might have been, today is a fresh start. What is happening around us in this moment is not normal and coupled with COVID-19 pandemic, it is a challenging and confusing time. We must remain respectful and supportive of each other, united as a community and continue to work together for a just society for all. We are reminded by the South African proverb, Ubuntu, which means I am only human through other people. My humanity is linked to yours. Our forefathers were from various backgrounds and different ethnic groups, yet they came together to move us from a colonial enclave to a nation. Did they argue? Of course. Did they agree with all the decisions? No. They disagreed to agree and to reach a compromise. They respected one another and their diverse opinions. They worked together. Diversity of opinion, national origin, religion and ethnicity are embedded in our beginnings. They are one of our greatest strengths as a people and we are yet denying its essential place in our culture. We must recognize our diversity and the peculiar conditions under which the different tribal communities live. An increasing lack of civility in our discourse is disturbing. We are all in this together. No one is spared. We all bring something of value to the table, from our ideas to our suggestions that are shaped by our beliefs, experiences, culture, and religion. We need to listen carefully and with respect to the ideas and opinions of our fellow citizens. What we hear sparks ideas, ideas that might include solutions to our problems. Most of us are unable to fully debate all facets of an issue that concerns us, our children and our future. We are polarized to the point that to disagree is to be an enemy. <laughs> what a shame on us. Right about now, we take a commercial break and we will be right back. When we come back, we'll be discussing the way forward. Do stick around. All Jeffrey really wants to do is watch football. Come on. Who is this one now? Hello? Good afternoon, sir. I am Michael James calling from UBA. Hey. CBN has mandated that That's all not... banks help their customers update their debit card information to guard against online theft. Sir, if you could just call out the 16 digit number on your debit card, the expiration date, the number at the back of the card, and your card pin. Jeffrey knows and UBA started. will never call to ask for his card details. Hello? Are you still here? UBA will never ask for your debit or credit card number, CVV, expiry date, PIN, or verification code, their telephone, SMS, email, live chat, or social media. UBA. Africa's global bank. Welcome back. 
In case you're just joining us, this is All Things Considered, a Paseco News podcast. We have been talking about Nigeria, our dear country, and every other thing that has ridiculed us in different times and has described Nigeria in relative decline. Right about now, we move straight to the way forward for Nigeria. So what are the way forward? First, we need to debate and explore all views as we look for the best solution. By separating those views into two camps, right and wrong, we weaken our decision-making process. In order to be the great nation we have been for most of our history, we must once again embrace our diversity and thus embrace the variety of points of views that allow us to find those much-needed solutions to our current problems. We must stop excluding those who disagree with us and start including all who offer an opinion. We must tell those politicians and public figures who demonize those who hold differing points of view to stop. We must look at our neighbors as fellow Nigerians who might look or sound differently. The one way to solve our economic problem is to work together to debate all possible solutions without rancor and then combine, change and modify proposals to make them work. Rejecting ideas because they emanate from a certain political point of view or people is counterproductive. Our great nation has a rich history of debate, diversity, perseverance, working together and putting aside individual agendas for the common good. We must return to those roots and use our best collective, creative, problem-solving talents to move out of the current troubling economic insecurity times. One of the founding fathers of the United States, Ben Franklin, once said, and I quote, If we do not hang together, we will most assuredly hang separately. Here at Paseco News Family, we believe in this great nation and its people. We believe it is time for us to stand united once again. All of us must help and be heard. Activists, lawyers, doctors, journalists, students, politicians across the divide, moderates, Judeo-Christians, Christians, Muslims, old, young. It is our country and we all bear responsibility for steering the ship of Nigerian state into a more stable, productive and great future. We must always remember that our unity is our strength, our diversity is our power. This is where we draw the curtains for today. Thank you so much for your time. You could share your thoughts with us on info at pasecondnews.com. Until we return with another interesting episode, I remain your host, Yemi Balogun. Have a good day.